woman here claims to be a Jew married to a Palestinian. And she says some things that are very Palestinian brainwashed. And I'm going to show some things to kind of debunk some of the things that she's trying to present. She's saying that her she has more rights than her husband, who's Palestinian, because he's not allowed to freely move. Um, well, let me explain to you, let me show you, that Jews are also, and anybody living in Israel for that matter, restricted to areas. You see this sign here? Entrance for Israeli citizens is forbidden and dangerous to your lives. You are threatened with death or harm if you even think to access this area. Okay, so there are areas that is strictly Palestinian and there's areas that is strictly Israeli. You know, it's just like crossing over into Mexico from America. Okay. Um, or Canada from America. You have boundaries. And that's how the place called Israel is. And then she says what is now called Israel as if God, that Palestine was taken from them. The problem is Palestine was never a state. They never got to that point. They were just people who were in the land they were under other dictatorships who didn't have rights. And when they were given rights, then they started taking such rights to demand that more Jews not be allowed to return to the land. Jews were already there in this land. Not all of them fled from Israel. Okay. But they were promised to return to their homeland and that came about. But Palestinians consider this their land and they don't want to share it. So you have these restricted areas on both sides. So what she's saying is very misleading, to say the least. Then, sadly, it's almost as if, if she's brainwashed or if she's being forced to say it. I don't know. But it's it's just, it's sad that she's saying that this these restrictions that Israel has is causes of the violence. So basically beheading children and babies and adults and women and raping them that is justified by because you don't agree with the things that the Israeli government is doing this is this is sickness this is this is what classic Palestinian brainwashing looks like literally saying that it's this is why there's violence as if this violence is justified do you know what they did to these people? It was barbaric. If they thought that the Israeli government was doing evil things, why don't you go after the government? Why don't you go and assassinate them? No, they attack people that are in a park and a musical fest and babies and children and women and rape. It was barbaric, absolutely barbaric what they did. I mean, American government goes after leaders of terrorist groups. They don't go after civilians. They do covert operations and they go after their leaders, man. They take them leaders out who's doing some evil things. They don't go after babies and children. They don't go around beheading people and raping them. I mean, but this, this woman literally just said this is what has led to the violence. I mean, it's sad. This is, this is really a stronghold within this group of people and it's even affected some of the Jews too and I just don't know that they have the full picture you know these Palestinians are so pervasive and they're propagandizing the history and trying to rewrite history and just spreading things that are just not true so please just I just ask you to be aware of that if you see this video